primary sounds in that piece. Uh -huh. There is the sound of the, the, and it is an actual mobile, and it is a circle mobile. Uh, it's two large pieces of steel, uh, a circle uh, that is quite thin on its edge, and, a, and then one that's more like a donut that is flat with a hole cut in it. And the two of them bang into each other. It's also generated, uh, it's, it, it's in the wind, so the wind is actually making it touch and create these resonant pieces. Uh, the second sound actually is a train in the distance, and the third sounds are, are uh, the sound of children playing. Uh, I've used trains and children in the past. I, I really like how the effect, uh, the, uh, the, how they interplay with space, and I really like the, uh, the resonation and the, uh, the evocation of memory uh, that, that they give to people. Uh, in my own um, in my own memories as well, nostalgia has a has a very very interesting uh, quality to it, and that to me is also a spatialization of, of sorts. But it's a, a space of the mind. Uh, when we when we hear a sound that evokes uh, a time uh, from our past, uh, then what I've done in the composition uh, or my use of that sound is to say that. I'm not just dealing with the sound space of the system or even the way I've recorded it. I'm also uh, 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 entering a kind of spatial quality that is beyond real time. It's a, it's a temporal quality that is existing uh, throughout years. And uh, these things are interesting as well in the, in the psychoacoustic aspect of it. So again, metaphorically, no, not so much. It, but it's a, it's a kind of sound reality or a reality that cannot exist either. So uh, they, are, uh, they are a bit surreal, if you like. Uh, um, uh, but uh, yeah, maybe that's the best way to call them, a bit surreal. When I work with time-space in the sense of these large compositions or, or spatial compositions, I have sets of rules of how to, to work with that. I, I mentioned that I make natural recordings and that I don't do any processing, which is not entirely true. Um, there, are, there are certain rules, because I'm using sound as a measurement of space and space as a measurement of time, uh, I, can, I, I allow myself to use things that are representational of that, such as reverberation, such as echo, and such as pitch change. Those are the three primary things, they're all in the same field. If I slow down a pitch by an octave, I've doubled the space. And so I can really play around with those kinds of things. Reverberation is simply the reflection of a sound in a space. So I can open up a space by having a long reflection or a short reflection. So there's multiple things that I, illusions that I can create by, as far as I'm concerned, say, staying within the same field of representation in the composition. And to me, to allow space in a composition to give time to people to, uh, to enjoy the process of listening and imagining uh, is something I'm very, very intrigued by. Um, and uh, I think it could be, well, for me, it, it, it's, uh, it, well, it's what works.